Hey yo, what's up everyone? Mr. Eric here, back with another Ender's Ladder video, and today we are playing a man by the name of Emblem Lord. Emblem Lord is a Ryu player, which is very new to the channel. I don't think I've ever fought a Ryu on here. Um, not for the Ender's Ladder series, at least. I fought uh, Nobuzz's Ryu once. I don't know if that counts as anything. But anyways, he is a Gold 1 player from New Jersey. I think I already said that, but I'm not sure. We struck it down to FD. It was between uh, Town and City and FD, and he chose FD. So yeah, we'll get us started. Let me turn down my volume on my monitors. Oh, mega loud. There we go. A little better. Anyways, good luck, have fun. He's not much of a talker. Hmm. Oh, better switch the uh, scene. There we go. All right. So about this matchup, I don't know. Just don't get wrecked. I want to see if I can camp him out actually, because I think that will be my safest option. So just completely respect his uh his up close game. But I hear he's a pretty good Ryu. So I don't wanna like <clears throat> give him a chance to get in, you know? There's some matchups that I feel like you absolutely have to camp out. I think this might be one of them. It makes sense to me at least. Ford has some decent reach on it. And it stays out for a while, kind of like a sex kick. So, very careful about that. Oh. Thank you, Gyro. Alright, so I can't sit in shield. Okay, that's stupid. Not, no, no, no. Not, not the move's not stupid. I'm stupid that I did that. delicate little mask going on here. If I overcommit on anything though, I eat one uh, Shoryuken and I'm dead. Let's so I can get a up smash here. Oh. Ooh, wow, that actually killed. Okay, that's interesting. Didn't know that. This will be me trying to figure out the matchup. So you guys can figure it out with me. The read on that, but I'm supposed to roll. I'm stupid. Damn, this is hard. Not over yet, though. We got, we still got this game, and we still got at least a game two to figure things out. So, so I'm listening here and, and think. I'm not really gonna think out loud. If I if I come up with anything, I'll let you guys know. for the bait that time by the way. He didn't, he didn't hear that so. Good though. Alright, let's 
Ça. Wow. Got the mystery on the uh, dash tech. GG. Figuring it out though. We're getting there! We're getting there. The first, like, I guess, competent is the word? I don't know. First good Ryu, though. But I've had the pleasure of playing. So. Let's see what he strikes. I'm really tempted to just take it back, because I kind of like the status that we were on. <clears throat> he banned Dreamland and Delfino. Really weird status to ban, in my opinion. But I'm not sure why. Uh, so he doesn't. I don't know. He he always killed me off the top with, uh, in that match, right? And so he banned a stage with the low ceiling. Two 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 stages with the low ceiling. He doesn't really kill off the left or right, so he. So this will be good. I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking. Um, I'd like to know so I'd understand the matchup better. But um, let's just run it back because I feel like I'm I was comfortable. And that last uh, stock or so. So, so let's run it back. A bit of FD. Using Rio. Cool. Let's go. Now I'm getting a feel of the matchup more, so that's good. And I think he only plays one character, so by the time I figure it out, I should be in the clear, but we'll see. Three, let's stay focused, though. One. He only DI's to the right, or he only DI's away from me. I think he doesn't understand how you can DI Rob's down throw. Such a common down throw to be seen too. He was, I'm stupid. Anyways, back to quiet mode. Shouldn't reach like that. I won't do it again. He never air dodges. I love it. I don't know why, but. win this camp for so yeah I definitely win this camp for Ooh, I right into that didn't I probably just chill with that is that okay stupid I barely got that punish too, because he has very low cooldown on the uh the yeah, B. Oh, one further one, I thought it would. I 
supposed to be a grab, but you know. He's kind of playing like Mark would normally do out of like a shield breaker into up B. He's kind of like baiting me with that, you know? Baiting me with like a seeming vulnerable and then doing an instant powerful move right out of it. That was a brawl strat for Mark. <clears throat> so I'm a little used to that. Even when he's doing double up B's. Double shoot usage, rather. I don't know. What, I don't think he's doing the at the input. Yeah. Keep him out. Keep him out, buddy. GG. We figured this one out. He banned Dreamland and Delfino, so I'm just gonna bend this and that. Keep it as comfortable as possible. I don't know this matchup at all, so I don't know. Keep it as comfortable as possible. <clears throat> all right, so we're gonna Battlefield, which makes me wonder why why um, ban Dreamland and not Battlefield? Like they're both. They're not both the same stage, but like I'm trying to think of like what what helps them out here. Um, Battlefield's a bigger stage all around, top end to the left and right, and then Dreamland is not so tall on the top, very wide. So I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. It's really interesting. Um, but yeah, whatever though. All right, he picked uh, Ryu again, so we're gonna hop back into this. Sorry guys about being a little bit too like serious and focused. I know a lot of people have requested it, and I'm trying to also level up my game and like focus less on the commentary and just play. Especially in like in these higher rank matches where I really have to focus to win. And it's also not fair to you guys if you guys aren't seeing like what I can bring to the table fully that day. I'm also really interested in this character. I think I would like to try this character out someday. Apparently 9B did really good in Japan with him. 9B was a monster in Brawl, so I'd imagine his Ryu looks just as sexy. <laughs> that was cute. Input thing. Oh, okay, so hits through my gyro. Gyro's still alive, which is funny. Well, I didn't throw it, I uh, down beat it, so. Oh, yeah, that reaches really far. Okay, almost hit him. See, like see how good, like, jumping from the ledges? It's so good. There was a really unsafe from there. I'm glad he dropped shield on that. Damn. He's a he's a he's in a up throw range right now, so that's what we want him at. There we go. And stop. Even on a <laughs> did you say what? Even on a big stage like this, that's stop. So I'm gonna play keep away. The free combos that you can get. Do, don't do one. Don't go for unsafe strings though. That you to think my combo. Go for what's true. Right now in these situations, unless you don't fully know, don't do it. Not worth it. Oh, that was stupid of me. I know I've said a lot of things are stupid of me tonight, but like, yeah. <laughs> Not being negative on myself. Just like, yeah, that was dumb. I shouldn't do it again. That kind of mentality, you know. Anyway.
Yep. Just flip right over it. Because why not? Oh, I wanted to get him off the stage there. Okay. So I'm glad that hits his fingers. It's good to know. I shouldn't kill. Dang, that almost killed him. That's such a good kill move. Should be very precise with it, but still. Look at that rock solid kill move. Okay. Overcommitted. But I feel like I had a lot of momentum there, so I wanted to keep it going. I'm going to keep it going too. And I'll stop it. Oh, it's done. I could have gyro spiked him. Why so weirdly off of that? I don't think this is gonna kill, but I'm gonna try it anyways. That that'll go. Good game. Alright. So that was a learning process, and we're platinum one. That's what I'm talking about. It's about damn time, dude. Oh man. Yeah, let's see where we're at now. Actually, let's give this guy a good review. Uh, fun or respectful or helpful. Um, did their job in duel. I would say that actually, because he didn't say anything. All he said was, "Who hosted you or me?" So yeah, there we go. Cool. Anyways, um, so yeah, let's see. I can move. Nah, I'll keep the game screen up. That way you guys can actually hear something. So, oh, we're top 10 now. Sweet. So, we are top 10, and we still have a, quite a ways to go. We're a few points away from top 9. And then, Master 3 is still one full uh, division away. Which isn't that far, but, you know, it's going to take some work. It's still going to take another 10, 15, 20 games, possibly. So, yeah, hang in there. We'll get there. And, yeah, hopefully you guys learned something from this. Um, what I noticed a lot was I just got to space and keep away. I, I can go in at certain times, but if I overcommit, he's he has, like, a super nair. Like, you know, like, uh, Luigi has a, a combo breaker nair? Well, he has, like, a super combo breaker, which is his uh, Shoryuken, which is nutty with how hard it hits. So that's something to look out for. And um, other than that, uh, respect the uh, respect the uh, Hadoukens, respect respect the down B. I didn't respect it enough first game. It really got me. It body me. <laughs> and other than that, I, I just I just can't. I just kept fainting like I was going in and out. And where he's mostly a melee character, it's hard for him to decide when it's good to go in. And he's not the quickest. He doesn't have the quickest mobility. So he's not like Sheik where he can just like just fly right in whenever he pleases so he's got to be methodical about it very methodical and yeah I would say it's a little bit hard for him for that but my big size and stuff is also good for him to combo yada yada get some free hits and yeah so I would say the matchups are uneven off of that but I'm not quite sure yet but anyways hopefully this video is helpful if you guys like the video leave me a like leave me a comment and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video all right Rob squad out beep boop